block of units, I guess I should say. So these, uh, you know, the burrow is uh, pretty much useless as long as that observer exists in that group. Moro's up to 91 drones. So Moro's going to be basically able to insta-reproduce units after they die. In fact, Moro's got 3,000 minerals and 1,000 gas, and Moro, and Moro is sitting at 200 units. So Moro can destroy his entire army and recreate the whole thing and fight again. On the other hand, Roll has only got 149 units. So it's going to be interesting, and I think with all this creep everywhere on the map, maybe what Moro's going to do is just suicide units into... Uh, basically into rules base and then reinforce immediately. That's right, and he is moving these overlords out to create a creep uh, a creep train or a creep highway, if you will. And it looks yeah. like Roll's Still pushing forward a little bit. And so is Moro on the other side. That's it's, right. This is hilarious. Moro on one side, Roll on the other. And Roll is not, like, Moro has map dominance here. There's creep oh, everywhere, there's, there's of, units all over the place. Speaking of, speaking of map dominance, look at this attack by Moro. That's for sure. Backs off. Just as uh, Roll pushes forward. Overseers and overlords going down. And let's see what happens here. As this surround goes down, we've got a bunch of roaches fighting this uh, Protoss engagement here. And it looks like... Uh, it looks like Roll is starting to lose more and more of his Colossus as they are being target fired. They're gone. And the, yeah, that's Only right. one left. And there are some Void Rays still left. And it looks like actually Roll is going to go ahead and take the advantage here and push forward more. As 34, anti -air unit. 34 Hydralists are on their way out from Morrow. 34, yeah. man. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's he can reinforce easily because he's got all that extra money. That's for sure. Now the only the only thing limiting Moro was he did lose a bunch of overlords, but he's back up to having enough overlords to give him two hundred total uh, two hundred total army. And you know what? The upgrades on Roll's uh, ground units are only plus one on the attack and zero zero on, uh, for the rest. It's, you know, the air is only uh, overlords zero, zero, going zero. down. Yeah, man. that's right. A lot of overlords going down. That actually supply blocks and supply caps yeah. uh, Morrow, but Morrow's already at 202 or is at 199 anyway. Yep. But now he, yep. But now he can't reinforce. He's got to build a bunch of overlords to be able to reinforce his army after it dies. That's right. And I think. And look at this overlord block is going to block this expansion area, but it looks like uh, Roll's going to go ahead and expand up here as uh, we see Morrow gathering up more units. We see Morrow has plus two on his uh, on his ranged attack and plus or zero zero for his air or for his flyer upgrades. Now Roll also is mine his main mineral base has been uh, completely mined out. So essentially Roll is mining with sixty three probes off of two bases and if, right now. If you look at it and even Roll's, the expansions it, will find out. Roll's economy is just horrible compared yeah. to Morrow. <laughs> Yeah, his expansion's almost mined out. So he's really mining just off of one base. And here comes Moro. Look at all these Hydralists. That additional range is going to be death for the Protoss army. That's right. As these, co as these Corruptors go in and do Whoa. some corruption damage to those, uh, to those Amor or, I mean, uh, Colossus, my bad. Stumble, stumble. 30, 35 Hydralists. Plus two attack. Zero carapace. And plus, uh, plus to their range as well. And look at this. It looks like Roll's actually doing a good job at uh, fighting Morrow's units here. Morrow's at 200 units again. Roll sits at 161 units. The thing is, like you said, Roll's economy is struggling. He needs uh, minerals and gas. Min uh, right now, Roll is mining essentially off of one base. And how much money does Morrow have in the bank? He's got to, you know, he can send his grandchildren to every, any college they want to go to. Morrow with a ton of cash in the bank. And every time Morrow loses units, he instantly recreates more units and goes back up again. Now Morrow is burrowing in those roaches. I wonder if we're going to see some trickery here. Maybe Morrow is going to try to kill all the observers and then use the roaches to get in close. Very well could, but we're seeing another engagement from Roll. It's army ball versus army ball as Moro attempts to surround again. Four Colossus, 17 Stalkers, nine sentries. 
And <laughs> Meng's statue does go down in the middle of this fray here. The thing is, the thing is, Moro can re is instantly recreating more units. That's right, 19, so mutants, all, all, 19 uh, Hydras on their way out, as well as 22 Roaches. Now, although Ro Roll is going to win this war, the problem is that Moro is going to reinforce his entire army again, and Roll is going to be hard pressed to do the same thing. Now, Roll is now finally mining off of a second base. Still no blink, no charge by roll. 23 roaches, 19 hydralisks for Moro. Moro's main base is mined out. We see an infestation pit, so he can't, you know, the hive is being, is being completed. Expansion for Moro is mined out. So two mined out bases for Moro, and Moro's mining off of one, two, and three bases. And both players are laying down, uh, laying down high yield mineral expansions. And it looks like Moro may finally have won. The war of attrition might be over. Moro continued to reinforce all of his units, something Roll could not do because he didn't have the economy. And Moro instead is going to back off. Maybe he does not realize that Moro does have the superior army. Moro's at 194 units. Roll's at 118 units. Dude, Roll is on the ropes. And speaking of on the ropes, look at this creep <laughs> spread right in the middle of his base. Fantastic. Oh, and check this out. Look at these roaches. Look at them boogie. Oh man, is he gonna be? He's gonna get into Moro's, or he's gonna get into Roll's only other base that's producing any any income at all. He's gonna cripple Roll's economy right here. That's right. Roll's in big big trouble now, man. This could be it. Every, look at all these workers going down. These roaches are plus two attack, plus two armor. This nexus is in big trouble. And this expansion is done for, just it. as these hydralists push up the ramp here to this high yield. Colossus does go down. Mara doing some great damage here. Keeping those roaches on the creep as well. And that pylon goes down, those zealots got canceled. And these probes are in big trouble. Rolls down to 37 probes. He's mining off of only one base. Moro with a great double pronged attack going for both the gold high yield mineral expansion and this expansion over here. Moro is now mining from the gold mineral expansion and planting spine crawlers. Moro still has 1,700 minerals and 300 gas in the bank. And I do want to just uh, say something real fast to everybody out there. We are aware of the lag issues. I'm going to. I'm trying to contact the admin of SC Streams to see what's going on, and uh, I'm going to be working on it to fix it for you guys. We do apologize, but uh, sometimes this happens. And I am seeing it hardcore here as well, guys. It has not been. All, it has not been bad all day until just now. So. Not sure what's up with that. In any event, we see Moro at 200 units still. Now, the Roaches and Hydralis, obviously both of them are plus two attack, plus two armor. Rolls, uh, roll Stalkers have plus one attack, and that's it. It's going to take a miracle for Roll to survive this attack. Look that's at this sure. onslaught of Roaches and Hydralis. Without any Colossus, Roll is in big, big trouble. The Colossus were the one unit holding them off, and these Stalkers, these armored Stalkers, cannot handle, and that's it. And there it is, throwing out the GG face. Roll does not get the point. Morrow takes the point. We're going into the next round. And I'm going to start fixing this lag. It did just start up with the lag. I'm not sure what happened. Something in the Internet's going crazy. And let yeah. me get a hold of the admin here. And it's uh, one one uh, in the AI on uh, AI Cyclo game. It's AI Cyclo versus who? AI Honor. Oh, okay. Versus AI Cyclo, and it's one game apiece. Yep. Wow. And any other news on any of the other series? Uh, I. I haven't 
been up to date because uh, I was in the AI Cyplo game. Well, thanks for that, though. That's that's good. A good update. And I think I'm going to remove the camera so that uh, so that this can so that that may not be causing you know so that we can see if that's causing the lag or not. Have you boosted again? I did. I Good. definitely did. And I you know, it's not XSplit. I'm not catching the screen lag on XSplit or anything that uh, we're casting with. Uh, I think it's the server it's, too. Yeah, I think it's I think it's the server for sure. Um we are on a new server and what is this? Interesting there. It's a little bit of a Windows I error. I'm pretty sure it's the trailers, man. Oh, yeah, okay. Trailers You're going to blame it on the trailers. Oh, no, it is, go. man. If you would just focus on the games, like in a competition, the elite level of these amazing players, if you just focus on that, instead of this other, like, buffoonery. Buffoonery? Well, these guys... Yeah. That, Watching they, things they, for new games is buffoonery, they, huh? They take they, These companies, they make a new game in three months. Slap some good graphics on it, and then guys like you gobble it up. And then three weeks later, after you spend sixty bucks on the game, you tell me how bored you are of it. So I think I think it's probably the, the trailers that are causing the lag. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I don't. No, know. The same, the, the same, the same oh, thing yeah. might have happened to SE two. It might have been a flop. You didn't know that before it came. That's true. Yeah. Uh, no, I. They, you were they watching took, trailers. You were watching the beta. Yeah, because it because so Starcraft to get information. Like, because StarCraft See, 1 is a fake game, game. Blizz- because yeah, StarCraft 1 is a flopped. fake game, and, Blizz- no. and Bl- how- when has Blizzard flopped? Mm. Right? So Blizzard makes so few games, I'm willing to listen to what they have to say. Companies like EA and these other companies that crank out, you know, a new game every two weeks. You know, anyway, we'll see what happens here. Once you turn the trailers off, I'll bet you the lag goes away. Well, I doubt it, Jim, because that's a dumb thing we're, to say. We're a- Find it. Well, no. Right after you put the trailers on, then we started having the lag. We did like ten. I was doing trailers all day, and there wasn't any lag until we got into the grid round. So, uh, yeah, when we did in that, your face, that, Jim, Doves, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jim, Optics Hero, he is through. He's going to the semifinals. All right, man. We're doing this game now. This is the, that's the farthest a North American has ever gone. Except Dreamcatcher. No, that was a Craft Cup light. And a Craft Cup... Mm, mm, mm. People are saying that your whining is cast causing the lag. But anyways, the countdown has <laughs> begun. Let's get into it. Has it? Our RGL role is not even in a game. Oh, I got... I got, I got this. I'm in the AI game, apparently. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, okay. I got it. Welcome everybody to Imba TV, where everything is in balance. We've got AI Cyplo against AI Honor here, and uh, you know, once you guys get into the Mario game, let me know. I'm gonna, I'm, I'll leave this and go. We'll continue that series. I didn't even realize that this was going on because we were arguing. You were distracting me from uh, what was actually yeah, happening. Whatever, man. Whatever, dude. So, uh, let more me know when. Let me know when you get in that game. All right. Let's just more keep it at that. Than- more excuses than Kellogg's has cornflakes. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Anyways, we've got Honor over here spawning as the purple Protoss on the left-hand side of Shakira's Plateau. And on the right-hand side, we do see Cyplo as the pink Protoss. And uh, thanks for joining us. This is Imbalance TV, where everything is Imba. I'm MC Duffs, and uh, with me is uh, Jim Rayner, but he's not in this game. We will be getting into the Morrow game, and I will leave this game to go into the Morrow game so we can see the rest of that series. We're just trying to bring you more nonstop StarCraft action here as Cyplus sends out his first probe. And it looks like no scout coming from Honor yet. But, uh, you know, Cyplo has sent out this first one and will go across the map. 